Don't look like Beyonce yet, darling. Have I turned into Kim Kardashian? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, hi, my name is Deborah. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the November Boxy Charm. What? It's been a hot minute since I did a Boxy Charm video, y'all, and I don't know if anyone cares. And I know it's late in the month. The month is almost over. So, you know, it's a little pointless to do this video at this point, but guess what? These are my favorite videos to do. I have so much fun making them. So this is just for fun. This is me time. So even if no one watches it, I am having a fun ass time making this video. -ho. Anywho, let's just get right into this video. Shall we? We shall. We sure shall. Uh, this is going to be a long intro as per usual. I don't know if you guys know the drill with my BoxyCharm videos. I talk about the products for a minute, you know, give my opinion, and then I get into the tutorial. So if you don't care about my opinion, you can skip ahead. I will put a timestamp in the description box below for when the tutorial starts. But anyways, otherwise stick around for some jokes and some like hee-haw, yee-haws, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have a good time. This month's box, I've already taken a quick little peek. We got some good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just go right down this list, shall we? First, we've got the Peace de la Resistance, the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder Eyeshadow Palette. And I have already taken a look at this and it is quite pretty. Look at those colors, boy. Ooh, we got some nice fall vibes here with some pops of color. I'm liking it. So let's see what we can create with this, shall we? <laughs> we sure shall, sunny boy. And that retails for $35. Okay, $35, not bad. Let's do some swatches real quick. Sure, why not? So here are swatches of the palette, you guys, and I think it's quite quite pretty. All of the mattes swatched very nice. Got a lot of pigment going there. Oh boy, those colors. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I am quite excited to play with these shadows. Mhm. Mm Next, we have the Cypress Antioxidant Dew Quench and Glow Serum. Okay, it's glass, so it looks, you know, heavy duty, well manufactured. This retails for Oh shit. This retails for $90. Oh my God, it better come in a glass bottle for $90 motherfucking dollars. Jesus. It says, use as a lightweight hydrator or as a layering piece in your skincare wardrobe. Oh yes, my skincare wardrobe, darling. Uh, sounds like a bunch of fancy schmancy speak for uh, it's a moisturizer. I can't say I would personally pay $90 for something like this. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, I am what one might call a cheap ass bitch. So I'm more than happy to have it in my boxy charm. No, my gourd. Why don't we slap some on here now? Let's see how we like it, sunny boy. It's like a milk, darling. Mm, yes, we oui, wee. Oui. Okay. Don't look like Beyonce yet, darling. Have I turned into Kim Kardashian? Yes. Well, then it was well worth the $90, dear. You see, I knew all along that I would turn into Kim Kardashian. I mean, it feels nice. I don't know that it feels any different than any other moisturizer, but I feel rich. I feel expensive, darling. Wee oui, wee. Oui. So that's a $90 moisturizer. <sighs> Fancy freaking schmancy boy. Next, we have the Dose of Colors Brrr, Liquid Matte Lipstick. Lipstick is lipstick. In the color flirty. That's the color flirty for ya. That retails for 18 doll hairs. I don't usually pay $18 for lipstick, typically. I won't spend it, boy. I will not. Anyways, moving on here, we've got the Lily Lashes, Faux Mink Lashes. And these are the style CEO. Just a real cute, natural lash. These are Faux Mink and they retail for 25 doll hairs. Listen, y'all, I got a little bone to pick with that. The regular Lily Lashes are, I believe, 29 to $30. So you mean to tell me that the foam mink is almost the same price? No, 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 no. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. 
For me, this style doesn't look like it's gonna be my favorite. It's very short. I, I like a pretty dramatic lash. No shade on Lily Lashes. She does make my favorite lash of all time, the Miami Lash. Ooh, but this looks about half that length, if I'm being honest. So I don't know that I will use this today. They're really pretty. I know most people don't like lashes quite as dramatic as I do. So anyone else will enjoy these. I just know me, I know myself. If I put these on my eyes, I will need to stack them with another lash in order to get the lash that I want. You feel me? Okay, the last thing on this list is the BoxyCharm two-piece brush set. On God! And these retail for $35 according to this sheet. Okay, so we have a foundation brush and a large brush. Oh, very interesting. I personally don't use foundation brushes. They're not my thing. I would far prefer to put my foundation on with a sponge. I feel like you get a much more flawless finish. And in my opinion, I think it's worse for your skin because it pulls on it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. We will try to put our foundation on with a brush today, y'all, and we will see how it goes. If I do not like it, I am switching to a blender though, I swear to God. But anyways, uh, this large brush, I'm not really sure what I would do with it. Uh, um, mm, yeah, I don't, uh, I'm not thinking of a purpose for this. So those are 35 doll hairs. I don't remember if I said that or not, but I'm saying it now. Then it looks like we got a little bonus a bonus Jonas, if you will. We got the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Lightweight Concealer. It's just a sample size. So I guess we'll try that out while we're trying out the uh, foundation brush. Anyway, so that is enough of this little intro. I think we've talked about every product so far, and now it's time to get an eye done off camera, and then I'll be right back, little lady, to get right into this tutorial. Whew. Whew, okay, I'm a little tired. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go film this thing and uh, I'll be right back, little lady. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back and this eye is halfway done. You know the drill. I only do half my eye and then I come back and we do this eye. So let's zoom you in, shall we? Okay, so first of all, I'm loving this palette. Let's just go right in. I'm going to prep my eye today with the P. Louise base in Rumor 2. And I'm just gonna pat that all over my lid with a Morphe M224 brush and I will be right back. Now that we have our base laid down, we are going into the beautiful Celestial Thunder palette. And we are going to go into this color here, Storm Dust. And we are taking that in on a Sigma Cut Crease E62 brush. You can use code DEBERGEN to save yourself some monies on all Sigma products. So we are just going to start off by tilting our head back and looking for the outline of our eyeball. And that will help us know where to put our colors. Because as I've said before, everyone's crease is in a different spot. My crease is much lower than my eyeball. So if I put my crease where my eyeball is, my eye will look much more open. So I'm just going to start stamping the color in here, following the outline of my eyeball. And this shadow really glides on smooth. Now that we have the basic shape sketched out, we are going to go into the color Lunar Eclipse. And we are gonna take that in with our Morphe M562 brush and we are just going to press that right above that first shade, keeping 50% of the color on the brown and 50% of the color above the brown. By doing that, we create a nice blend. And you see we're just pressing it in to start. We will start blending and doing some swirly motions in just a minute, but to start, we're just going to press it in. And now I'm going to go and start doing some swirly motions just to start getting that blend. And now I'm going to go in with my Smith 247 brush and there's no product on this brush. I'm just going to use it to swirl out those colors and create an even softer gradient. Now I'm going to go back in with that first color Storm Dust on our Sigma E62 brush. And I'm just going to deepen up that crease, doing the same thing we did the first time. We're just repeating this step to make sure we get the maximum color payoff. And now I'm taking my Luxie 131 brush and swirling that out some more. This one is just a little bit more firmly packed than the Smith brush, so I like how it gets right in there without spreading the color up too high. Now that we have 
that done. I am going to cut the crease and I am going to cut my crease off camera today because it's hard to do this on camera. Let me tell you what, I can barely do it off camera if I'm being really honest. So I will tell you some tips and tricks before I go. Just I've cut my crease on camera many times at this point. I am using the P. Louise base in Rumor 2 to cut my crease. And I'm using my new favorite brush to cut my crease, the Furless Cosmetics Pro 4M brush. This has made cutting creases so much easier for me. I'm gonna see if I can get a discount code for ya, but for the time being, oh, oh man, this brush, yeah. So I'm gonna go cut the crease using my eyeball as a guide as Per usual and we're gonna match this side we're just cutting a crease you've seen people do it before I'm sorry be right back and voila our crease is cut people so we are going to go and we are going to cover the crease with some shadows so I'm going to go in with the color fireball and I'm going to take that on my favorite Olimar Cosmetics flat shader brush and just place that all over the lid before we go in just make sure you smooth out your base just so there's no creases in there so the shadow will lay down smoothly. Okay, so once your base is smooth, just go in and start pressing that shadow all over the lid. And it takes a while to get it laid down because you want to pat it down. You don't want to drag it around just because you don't want to move the base. So when I am laying down my color on a cut crease, I start at the bottom and work my way up to the top just to make sure that there's less product once we get up there because you want to be really careful around that line to make sure you keep your crease looking really clean. Ooh, my arm is truly getting tired. <laughs> I can't believe my arm is getting tired from this. What a freaking strong woman you are, Deborah. Wow, could you teach us to be as strong as you? <sighs> I love how like this color is like reflecting so many different colors at different angles. Oh, at some angles it's gold, at some it's pink. I am loving it. Okay, now I'm just going to take a Q-tip with some makeup remover and clean up this edge and I'll be right back. Ooh, okay, look at that clean edge. Ooh, my gourd. Look at that. We're pretty symmetrical today, biznatch. I'm gonna go just do a wing off camera. You've seen me do a wing before. Again, this is for me time, okay? This video is me time, and I don't feel like having to struggle to do a wing on camera. It's just harder to do it on camera than it is in real life. Okay, be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back, and this eye is wong. Boom, boom, boom. I'm having some really nice me time today, just really great. So, I will say this stuff I'm a jigger, Kripus, Kypris $90 Rich Bitch Cream. It has made my skin feel quite nice and hydrated. Real schlick, I will say. I am liking it. But it's time to put on our foundation. I'm gonna put my No Pore Bloom Primer from Touch and Soul on my skinny skin skin. And just prep away, cause I get a little porous over here. And then we're gonna try out this foundation thing. The foundation brush. And see if we can't become brush foundation people. Okay, so the little one is the foundation brush, and I'm going to go in with one of my go-tos, the Maybelline Superstay, I think, foundation in shade 120, and we're just going to put it on the face. Okay, I'm liking this a lot more than I thought I would. Okay, you know what? That's going on really nice. I am kind of surprised because I do not appreciate a brush for foundation. I wasn't even gonna do this, but then I figured, you know, it is a boxy charm try on tutorial. We should try all the things, except for the lashes. I know I'm not gonna like those. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm liking it. <laughs> I think it's because of how densely packed the bristles are. Wow, I'm getting a really streak free finish. Okay, boxy charm, I see you, girl. Okie dokie then. Well, if you are the kind of person who likes to put on your foundation with a brush, I'm sure you'll like these brushes. They are surprisingly streak free. Okay, well, wee oui, wee. Oui. I'm just gonna go do the rest of my face off camera, you know, to save time on this video and because this is me time, okay? I'm just trying to have me time, trying to relax, you know, enjoy myself, me time. I still don't know what the hell I would use this bigger brush for. Jesus. Oh my god, but my nose does itch, so it is a nice nose scratcher. I will give it that. 
I'm gonna go do my concealer, my brows, my contour off camera. I'm gonna go have a little bit of me time. So yeah, I'm gonna go have me time and I'll be right back to uh, come hang out with you guys. I hope that's okay with you if I have some me time. Okay guys, so I'm back and I'm just having some really nice me time. So thank you for letting me have me time. Did a little bit of baking, you know, finished this whole eye. So now all we have to do is this eye and lips and then we can scooch on out of here. Wouldn't that be nice? So let's finish up this eye. I'll zoom you in. Sure, why not? So I'm going to highlight the inner corner with the color Eternal Light. And I'm going to take that in on a Sigma E30 brush. You can use code Deborah Jen at checkout to save yourself some monies, boy. Okay, so we're just going to highlight this inner corner here. Oh, I'm really loving this palette, you guys. So there, the inner corner is highlighted and isn't that a nice pop of pizzazz. Now we're gonna go into this color Mystic Ice and we're taking that in on a Morphe M326 brush and just pressing that into the lash line, keeping it as close to the lower lash line as possible. And voila. Now we're going to line the waterline with this NYX slide on eye pencil in tropical green. Perfect. And now I'll zoom you guys out. Oh, I'm just having such a great time filming today, you guys. Isn't it nice? No stress, just doing me time. So I'm going to pop on my lashes off camera. I am going to use Lily lashes so I don't disrespect Miss Lily Galici, but I'm using my Lily lashes in Miami because that's what I enjoy. They are my favorite. I will show you guys a comparison so you can see what they look like next to the lash that came in the box. You guys can see the Lily lashes up top and it is just much longer, fluffier, a little spikier. So anyways, I'm gonna pop off my lap, pop on, pop off. I'm gonna pop off. I'm gonna pop on my lashes and I'll be right back. And our lashes are on, people. Okay, now let me just wipe off this bake really quick. Oh my gosh, and we are just about done. Sure, let's use the big brush. Why not? That's a thing I found we could use the brush for. Okay, well, I did a good job of wiping off the bake, so hats off to ya, boxy charm brush. We found a way to make you useful. I'm just gonna set my face with some ColourPop Pretty Fresh Setting Mist. Oh, I love the way this stuff smells. Whew, bitch. Also, yeah, I didn't ask you to like and subscribe at the beginning of the video, but if you could like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. But I'll ask you again in just a few minutes, just in case. Anyways, let's do these lippy lips, shall we? So we are going in today with the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the color Flirty that we got in our box. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. Okay, yo, I am loving this lipstick color. For me, it is a beautiful pinky nude, and I think it complements the makeup look amazingly. I was actually worried it wasn't gonna go with the makeup at all. Ooh, but it actually goes perfectly, I think. <laughs> My wood. Okay, boxy charm, I see you, girl. Oop, Jesus. Anyways, so our makeup is done, y'all. Ooh, and I'm actually quite proud of the way it came out, but I'm going to, you know, go fix my hair, wear a presentable shirt or whatever, and then I'll be right back to like, you know, chit chat and talk about this boxy charm. I haven't done this in a minute, so like, <laughs> can I do it? Maybe. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I gotta, I'll be right back. G2G. Guess who's back, y'all? It's me, obviously. I don't know who else you might have been expecting, but I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's just me. Anyways, this is the finished look. And I am so proud of it. I was going to do just like a basic ass look today. And I'm really glad that I pulled this out of my sleeves because it actually wasn't that hard. Cut creases scare me. I haven't done a full cut crease maybe ever on this channel. But I did today and I had me time and it was fun and it was great. I will do a full cutting crease tutorial. So anyways, I hope you aren't mad at me. If you have specific questions, leave them in the comments below and I will answer them in my full cut crease tutorial. Okay, it's 3 a.m. so that's why I'm a little crazy. So this month's boxy charm was a joy and a delight. And I am so glad that this was my first month back in the boxy charm scene in a couple of months because I loved it. Oh my God, did I love it. This Kristen Dominique palette, you know what? I freaking loved it. The colors in it are both wearable and fun, and that is the best kind of palette in my opinion. Perfect for fall and winter. I love it, I freaking love it. Also, loving this Dose of Colors lipstick. Oh my God, it's so far wearing very comfortably. It dried down matte. 
I did get a little transfer on the back of the hand just now when I kissed it. I would rather have a tiny bit of transfer than a super dry lipstick. But again, I mean, that's not much transfer. So if you're wondering if it's kiss proof, I would say it's mostly kiss proof. I am loving this lipstick. It's pink, but not too pink. It's nude, but not too nude. For me, it's like the color of my lips, but better. This uh, old expensive creamy cream, Hello, focus. I like the way it feels on my skin. It's $90 though, so I, will I repurchase? Almost assuredly not. Let's be real. Your ya girl's a cheapskate, okay? I just, I, I almost definitely will not repurchase. But I will enjoy it while I have it. And I love that BoxyCharm puts such high-priced items in there. I mean, how much is BoxyCharm? Like 21 bucks a month? And I got, okay, let's, let's add up the total. Oh my God, you guys, it's been so long since I did a BoxyCharm. I am so sorry. Okay, BoxyCharm costs $25 a month. I don't know if they raised the price. So for $25, we got a total of $180 worth of products. And I'm happy with all of it. Again, these lashes, I will not be wearing. I mean, I haven't tried them. They could be nice, but they're not my style. Also, I do think they're overpriced, but that's none of my business. They were given to me for free by BoxyCharm that I paid for. But, oh yes, this box was amazing. BoxyCharm, you came through as usual. Not every month's box is my favorite box I've ever gotten, but I'm never unhappy with it. There's always something to redeem it, but this month, I love almost everything. These two items are my favorite for sure. I'm so happy with this lipstick. I couldn't be more happy with it. The palette works beautifully. I love that it is mostly mattes and just a few shimmers. That is how you make a palette, people. I'm sick of people giving me palettes with all shimmers. Don't do it, don't fucking do it. Anyways, suffice to say, I am so happy with this month's BoxyCharm. If you don't get BoxyCharm already and you would like to try it out, I will leave a link in the description below. I would love it if you would order it through that link if you feel comfortable. If you don't, sure, don't. I have been paying for my own BoxyCharm for, I think it's almost going on three years. That sounds right. I've been paying for it myself that whole time and I, I love it, okay? I'm not being paid to say it. I just like it. I think it's fun. I get to try new makeup products that I wouldn't have tried. I have found many products that have become staples. Just so many different things that I wouldn't have bought myself, but that I love, 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 and will repurchase again. I don't know why I'm rambling on so much about how much I love BoxyCharm. I'm just so excited about this month's box. It was so fun. And it's just like a little present in the mail, you know? It's a little something, something to get excited about. So anyways, that about wraps up this video. If you would please be so kind as to like this video and subscribe to my channel, channel. I'm a regular YouTuber now, so I'm putting out lots of content. I hope you will check out the other videos on my channel. I like to have fun when I make my makeup tutorials, so hopefully you will have fun watching them. And the question of the day, yay, 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 is since it is the end of November, what comes at the end of November? Thanksgiving! What is your favorite Thanksgiving food? My personal favorite Thanksgiving food? Ooh mashed potatoes and pumpkin pie. But the pumpkin pie needs to be piled so high with whipped cream that I don't even wanna see the pie, you know what I mean? I need it to be mostly whipped cream, a little bit of pie. I just love the turkey, the gravy, the stuffing, the corn. Ugh, I don't know, you guys. I'm having fun, I'm having so much fun. I love making these videos, you guys. Making videos is what I love to do, I hope that you will continue watching and supporting my channel so I can keep making videos. If I'm being honest with you, barely making any money from it right now but i hope to be able to support myself at some point and i hope you can understand that dream oh, okay i'm losing it i'm losing it is it a full moon i'm going a little crazy uh maybe i was just born with it maybe she's born with it maybe it's maybelline Okay, that was not even the tune of the song, Deborah. get it together. Anyways, that about wraps up this video. I have had so much fun with you guys. Thank you so much for allowing me to have me time and not getting mad at me for doing most of my face off camera. I think I did the important stuff on camera. So, thank you so much for just hanging out with me. I just love you guys. Oh, I love you guys. Anyways, thank you so much. I hope to see you in my next video. And I will TTYL, LYLAS, SWAT. Goodbye. I said goodbye. I'm an Aries, y'all. I don't know anything else but honesty. You know what I'm saying? I keep filming things with stuff all over my face. Ugh. I don't know what to tell you, except I'm sorry.
Thanks, Beach. Was it me? Was it me? You know, someday, Lord, bless it. Come on, Clover. Come on, Clover, baby. Oh, hell yeah. Don't you worry about me, boy. You know what I'm saying? Yikes, Deborah, get it together. Let a hoe know. Was it me? Was it me? My neck and my back. Gizmo still coughing, it's good, jolly good. <sighs> come on over, come on over, baby. Blah, 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 blah. Yada, 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 this, that, and the other. Yeah, let's have a little bit of me time, shall we? I don't know your life, girl. Um, mum, 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 mum. Lord willing, I am dedicated to my craft. And I hope you can understand that dream. Duh, but it, but it, but it, that's all, folks.